MIDI 2.0 is here and in front of me is the very first controller with a working implementation of what is sure to be the next big thing in music production. This is the chord key stage and in more ways than one it raises the bar of what one would expect from a MIDI controller to a whole new level. With polyphonic aftertouch and MP compatibility, official Ableton integration and integration with every other major DAW and Cork software and virtual instruments, a powerful arpeggiator and a chord mode to help you jumpstart your creativity and a built-in stereo audio output, the key stage is sure to unleash your creativity in the studio and on stage. So what is MIDI 2.0? Well, as of up to now, MIDI was a one-way language that allowed a controller to talk or give orders, so to speak, to an external device like a synthesizer or a computer, but didn't allow for the external device to send information back. MIDI 2.0 is a two-way bridge that enables communication both ways between the MIDI controller and the device it's talking to, turning the monologue into a conversation and allowing for crucial information to be sent in real time from the external device back to the controller. In practical terms, this means that a MIDI 2.0 controller can receive and display instantly information such as DAW or virtual instruments parameters sent by the computer, turning the painstaking process of linking MIDI parameters to physical knobs into an automatic and easy process. To unleash the full potential of MIDI 2.0, Korg has partnered up with Ableton to develop unmatched integration between the hardware and the software, but KeyStage also offers instant and seamless plug-and-play compatibility with other DAWs such as Logic, Cubase or Pro Tools, giving you immediate and easy access to your DAW's most important playback and transport controls. Just set KeyStage in your respective DAW mode and you are good to go. Key stage comes in two models, 49 keys and 61 keys, but other than the size difference, they share the exact same features and functionality. The semi-weighted key bed feels good under the fingers and allows for expressive playing ideal to capture nuanced performances. Key stage also features polyphonic aftertouch, which lets you control a synth or virtual instrument's parameter on a per note basis, allowing for greater flexibility. The enclosure is mostly plastic, but the build feels solid and the units are fairly light, with 9.3 pounds for the 49 keys version and 11 pounds for the 61 keys version, making them easy to take on the road or to a local gig. And the wood panels on the side are a nice touch and give the unit some warmth. In terms of connectivity, key stage features 5-pin MIDI in and out, expression and damper pedals inputs, a USB port for power and connection to a host computer, and a simple audio interface that features a headphone out for personal monitoring and a stereo output that lets you plug your key stage straight into a concert venue's mixer without the need for an additional device, making key stage an ideal companion for performing and touring musicians. On the top of the unit, you'll find to the left the traditional mod wheel and pitch bend controls, as well as a master volume knob, the top row button cluster lets you access various internal settings such as the global MIDI channel, the control DAW mode and the aftertouch sensitivity, while the transport controls below let you quickly access key commands in your DAW such as play, stop, rec, loop and tempo. The ARP and code buttons activate the chord mode and the onboard arpeggiator, but we'll get back to these in more detail in a minute. The value buttons let you adjust a variety of parameters in the unit and can also be used to switch tracks in your DAW when used with the shift key. The main LED display shows the name of the track that is active or menu specific information and the large value encoder can be used both to set various parameters and to control the playhead position in your DAW for precise playback. Last but not least, Key Stage features eight knobs, each with a dedicated OLED display underneath that lets you control different parameters depending on what mode the controller is in, such as Ableton devices macros and core gadget controls, or arpeggiator parameters and system settings. More on that in a second. To harness the full potential of MIDI 2.0, Cork teamed up with Ableton to develop a flawless implementation of the new protocol between a DAW and a controller, resulting in the creation of KeyStage. 
So on top of the ability to easily control transport functions with the left side button cluster and the value encoder, the eight encoders to the right and their respective displays show the first eight parameters of the currently active Ableton device. You can't switch devices straight from the controller, you'll have to do it from a computer, but you can create a master macro rack at the top of your device chain and link parameters from different devices easily to modulate your favorite effects and parameters. The value up and down buttons can be used to change and navigate tracks and switch instruments rapidly. All these features really add up and cement key stage capabilities as a great performance controller that lets you easily manipulate your sounds via a simple yet powerful interface. KeyStage also integrates flawlessly with WaveState Native, the brand new software counterpart of the Korg WaveState hardware polysynth, adding the hardware feel and hands-on approach to the power and versatility of the software. KeyStage automatically switches to WaveState mode when it detects the plugin is open and displays the first eight parameters of the plugin on the OLED displays beneath the knobs. And I have to say, the presets WaveState comes with are truly spectacular. KeyStage is also designed to play well with Gadgets 2, an extensive suite of audio tools created by Korg that include a DAW as well as a great selection of effects and virtual instruments, including great compact yet powerful recreations of Korg's most iconic synths such as the Monopoly, the ARP 260 and the MS-20, but also a Sega 16-bit drum machine emulator. Just for that, I'm sold. Now I know the video is about key stage, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to both WaveState Native and Gadgets 2. They are great tools that are sure to get you jamming in minutes, and key stage is the perfect controller to bring them to life effortlessly. If the MIDI 2.0 implementation and the polyphonic aftertouch are not enough for you, there is one last area in which key stage excels, and that's as a creative companion and inspiration booster. Which leads me to my favorite features of this MIDI controller, the corn mode and the arpeggiator. Korg takes the concept of the corn mode that can be found on many controllers on the market and takes it one step further by adding intelligent chord collections organized by styles with chords that relate to each other both harmonically and stylistically. Just listen to this fun little beat I put together in literally five minutes using key stage chord mode. <laughs> I really had so much fun experimenting with this and I was highly impressed with how intuitive and musical it is. 
key stage also features a complex arpeggiator that pushes the functionality of the device way beyond traditional expectations with numerous controls mapped to the encoders and labeled on the screens below. You can easily change the pattern. The selection ranges from the usual suspects to more creative options. The rate as well as the swing amounts and the arpeggiator also offers various creative tools that are really fun to use, including rhythmic patterns variation, gate controls, and my personal favorite, a chance knob that adds randomness and variation to the pattern. The arpeggiator also features ratchet controls that can be activated using the aftertouch or the mod wheel to create interesting rhythmic variations. And with this, we come to the end of this quick overview of Korg's brand new MIDI 2.0 controller with polyphonic aftertouch. I really enjoyed my time with the key stage and I really liked both the sleek design and portability, especially of the 49 keys version. I also really want to salute the effort made by Korg to take the first steps to bring MIDI 2.0 from theory to an actual usable concept and instrument. I have to admit, it was pretty nice to have all of my controls automatically mapped and clearly displayed for me without having to go through the painstaking process of creating my own MIDI map. And lastly, I cannot say enough good things about the arpeggiator and the chord mode, which really inspired me and helped me create the demos for this video pretty effortlessly. I appreciate the thought and the musicality that went into creating those tools, and I think you will appreciate them too. So, what are your thoughts about the key stage? Are you ready to bring MIDI 2.0 to your studio? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, this was Gabe with BNH, and I'll see you next time.